All right, y'all, so Maynard, for the longest time, has had the reputation of just being a commuter suburb. And it's for the exact reasons of what's behind me here. It's just strip malls. There's nothing really here to give it character. Now, Maynard's super appealing because it's one of the closest and easiest access suburbs into Austin that you can get. So if you work there, if you wanna get into town to do things, it's fantastic in terms of location. But there hasn't really been like a heart of the city, but that is changing dramatically. We've got example like this behind you. You've got a Walmart here, but that's it. There's not a plethora of grocery stores, hardware stores, and while Walmart is most of those things, it's a jack of all trades and a master of none. But this is very quickly changing. I wanna show you what's going on here. All right, y'all, so we are at the corner of 973 and 290, and we're here for a couple of reasons. This is gonna be the largest retail developmental project that Maynard has ever had. So where, right here where I'm standing is gonna be the spot for a new grocery store, something Maynard needs desperately, because other than Walmart, there's no real options here. But you're also gonna have a myriad of restaurants, like Chili's, there's gonna be a TJ Maxx, there's gonna be a Home Depot. Just like all of your general things are gonna end up coming here. Right off to my left here, you're also going to have some more multifamily developments, apartment complexes, townhomes, and just beyond here, you can see in the background is Maynard's new high school. Maynard ISD is dumping a ton of money. Obviously, we've had a huge increase in population recently, but they really care about their schools. Science and technology programs partnered with Tesla just down the street have been a huge uh, plus and advantage to Maynard schools, and they're really trying to capitalize on making Maynard one of the best and most desired school districts in the entire Austin area. Now, let's jump back in the car because I got a lot more to show you. So now we're on the south side of 290 and we're gonna be driving past here in a second. You've got just more and more infrastructure. And again, it's just emphasizing the growth that we've seen here in Maynard. Obviously off to here, you've got markets opening up. We've got a brand new hotel opening in the next three months. You've got some more professional office space, which is gonna be things like medical, dentist, and different services like it. You've got walking trails. Maynard's really trying to emphasize having some more green spaces and parks. You now have a project underway that'll be a hike and bike trail that goes all the way into Austin, connecting a few different bits and pieces together to again, just make this a town like that has its own space. You can see tons of residential development going on out here. And you know, that's pretty statistically proven that Maynard is growing, but you, you get so much for your money out here, which is why so many people enjoy it in terms of being close into Austin, but it's becoming a nice place to live, a town with its own character. And that's just really cool to see. All right, we're driving now here through Maynard Commons, which is a community just south of 290 that's being built out like crazy. They just opened up a whole new section of this. They're still paving roads, as you can see in front of me, uh, but Paysetter, Chesmar are building in here, and these are your good mid-tier homes. Uh, typically speaking, these are the homes that are gonna you know, last your family as long as you could want them to. And again, just further emphasizing the point that people don't just come here to commute into town, but this is becoming a town of its own. Home. Absolutely gorgeous homes. And yeah, they're opening up more and more new lots available, just offering more options if you want to live here in Maynard. So we're currently driving on Old Highway 20, and this is, if you live here, one of the biggest pains of Maynard. <laughs> So Maynard right now only has basically two ways into Austin. You've got Highway 290, which turns into a toll road, so there's no real way to avoid that unless you stay on the access road the whole time and you're hitting light after light after light. Or you take this through Old Maynard and scootle down some little side roads past the landfill to get into Austin. Neither of which are good options at all. And that's another thing that Maynard is really pushing hard for. First of all, widening this road. This is only two lanes right now. Not only is it really bumpy from all the construction trucks that have come over it lately, but the light situation is just terrible. As you can literally see in front of me right now, like it's just not a great situation. They're working on fixing it. Um, now, one of the other biggest things going on in Maynard, you've got Lagos, the neighborhood that we're gonna be at here in just a second off of of this road itself. They're building a ton of homes in here. This problem is only gonna get worse, but, but they're already on top of it. This will be a better situation soon. 
So we just pulled off of Highway 20 into Lagos. Now this community is being built by Ashton Woods and Pulte. And again, it's that mid range home. So, you know, homes going all the way up above 3000 square feet, lots of park space, as you can see just out the window here. Uh, and it's another reason why they really need to do something about Highway 20. And I'm super pleased to see that they are literally working on it right now. You've got just so much new construction going on here. This is one of my clients' favorite neighborhood. Uh, love Lagos. Several of my clients have moved here. And again, just because it's such a convenient spot into Austin, you get so much for your money. Like as of the time of recording this, you could get a 3,000 square foot home under 500,000. And that's just unheard of in other parts of town. You can see if you pan just out to the side here, you've got so many more lots coming. And again, Again, it's just gonna compound the problem, but they're working on fixing it. And I love to see that. Maynard's really, really trying to make this a great place to live. All right, so we are just now pulled off of 290 in the shadow view development. We've talked this entire video about things that are coming soon to Maynard and not much about what's already existed. Now, as you can see here, this is a ton of brand new shopping. You've got brand new restaurants. These are all open now and being enjoyed by people who live here. You've got a Starbucks here. You've got this Mexican restaurant right behind us, which has a playground for kiddos. You've got professional offices. You've got uh, doctors, dentists, things like that. Uh, there's a couple more fast food restaurants, brand new roadways here with sidewalks. It's all just becoming a more and more connected city. And that's so great to see. Now, the section here that we're driving through does connect into Shadow Glen, one of the biggest communities in Maynard. Also has things like a golf course. It's, again, one of my clients' favorite neighborhoods just because of how connected it is. All right, we're driving past the actual number one biggest downside here in Maynard, and that is the traffic that you can see across the side of the road. Now, like we've spoken about, 290 is really the only way in and out of Maynard at this time. They're working on expanding it. They're working on redoing some of the lights. They're working on doing some overpasses over some of the biggest intersections here. As of this time, legit, that is the one biggest complaint of Maynard and everybody who lives here, but they are working on it and that's nice to see. Now, being completely realistic here, I wouldn't expect this to be fixed in the next 12 months. That's probably not realistic. It just takes time to do these things. But over the next two, three years, as Maynard continues to grow, as they continue Continue with these infrastructure projects, this is going to get a lot better. Now, everything you see in the distance here is going to be the seasons at Carillion that we're pulling into right now. It's going to be one of the largest master plan communities in Maynard. It's the largest one planned as of right now. They've just started construction on it, so everything you saw in that view is going to be houses eventually. Um, but let me show you a couple of things in there that make this one of the most exciting projects for me. Now, Seasons at Carillion, where we're standing in right now, like I mentioned, is gonna be one of the biggest developments in all of Maynard. They've got thousands of homes planned for this community, and this is gonna be very similar to Santa Rita Ranch or Black Hawk in Liberty Hill and Pflugerville, if you're familiar because they wanna offer a huge variety of homes. You've got luxury builders like Gihan, uh, Brightland Homes coming in here. They're gonna build houses of all sizes and types. You've got the beautiful amenity center, the first of several to come here in Maynard. You've also got some unique ones. Richmond American Homes is building an RV garage product. My clients are buying one of the very first in here like it. You've just got such a variety of homes, again, in one of the biggest communities in Maynard here. Bring on more development. You right off of Highway 20 or right off of 290. This is a super easy location. And anyhow, Seasons of Carillion is definitely a community to watch out for if you're thinking about Maynard. So as y'all can see, there's just a ton of development going on here in Maynard. So many of the quote unquote gripes with people living here are being fixed and they're really trying to work on just growing Maynard into a town all of its own. If this was helpful to you, I'd love to be that resource of choice for you for moving here, selling here. Reach out to me, call, text, or email. My contact info is on the screen. Mason Blaisdell with Mark Martin and Company. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Take care.